So why do we watch movies? When the avenues of entertainment have become more diverse than ever, when the next cool thing is just one click away, when the social media is allowing us to be the hero of our own stories, when buying a movie ticket can cost more than a week's grocery and you don't even know how that movie will turn out, then why do we watch movies? We watch movies because they can make us experience moments that are outside our everyday lives. They allow us to step into the shoes of a soldier and witness the horrors of war. Walk in the rain with a couple falling in love and fly a plane to break the speed record. Movies have the power to transport us from the time of prehistoric hunters and gatherers to futuristic space travelers. Movies provide commonality across all manner of divide and they speak for those who don't have a voice. We participate in Clarice's fears and celebrate Bhuvan's winning shot and when Weisler puts on his headphones, we all turn into an unintended warrior. We watch movies because movies matter, because they let us relate to other people. They let us suspend our disbelief. They inspire us, scare us, make us laugh, cry, dream, question. But most important of all, movies make us empathize. Movies allow us an opportunity to look at human beings with all of their flaws and still accept them. As Bergman has said, no form of art goes beyond ordinary consciousness as film does. Straight to our emotions, deep into the twilight room of the soul. Now if cinema is such a powerful medium, then it is important for us to understand and watch movies more critically and be an active recipient of it so that we get the most out of it. Because when we understand the nuances of a medium, we enjoy the most subtle moments within that medium. Watching movies critically and thoughtfully gives us better insights to deal with our social anxieties, broken heart, and it helps us connect with each other. Movies might not cure cancer or save millions of lives, but they can definitely change them, one conversation at a time. Captain, my captain. The reason that Girl in Red Coat in Schindler's List is such a great symbol is because we all know what it's like to be out there when somebody is in grave difficulties fighting for their survival, but we can't do anything because we all are busy in our own survival. We have all felt that gut-wrenching mix of sorrow and helplessness that Schindler feels as he stares out at that innocent girl walking through the massacre. As by learning more about Oscar Schindler, we get to learn about those people who came before us, those who are around us, and most important of all, we learn about ourselves. So the next time you go to watch a movie, go for your regular dose of entertainment, but for a few minutes, look at it as an opportunity to discover what it is to be human.